What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> it's a real tragedy what happened in uh, Connecticut. Um, you know, I think uh, the the kids being so young um, really is what uh, you know, and so many hit people so hard. Um, the 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 thing that I don't like about what's going on is now people are using this get their agendas taken care of, of gun control and things of that nature of uh, firearms and I enjoy owning firearms I own them safely there's no way my kids could ever get to my firearms they'd have to go through a lot to be able to try and get to it you know but uh, they you know people are calling for a stricter gun control and what I don't see people saying is what what they mean by stricter gun control uh, I live in California so in California I own a handgun you have to pass the safety test, the written test, and then you, to get to buy, purchase a handgun, you have to pass the background check, and you have to wait 15 days. Unlike other states, where the wait is, you know, can be as little as the same day. Now, I know from speaking to people who work at uh, gun shops and stuff that the background check usually takes about 24 to 48 hours to come back. Sometimes it comes back right away, uh, but I, you know, the waiting the 15 days is fine with me because I think they should do a more in-depth background check on people. You know, it's something that I don't fear because I'm I've never been arrested. I've never done anything wrong. I've never had any problems. But uh, I know that this is going to be a call for renewing the assault weapons and I have to be honest with you you know I have fired assault weapons before I enjoy them and I am actually going to be purchasing one um, I made that decision to purchase one before the the incident in Connecticut but now that that's happened I called a gun shop and uh, I had asked about um, you know the various models of, of AR-15s and, uh, you know, the person from the gun shop called me back, told me they have, you know, 30 different uh, models right now. And the next day at the, was the Connecticut shooting. She called me up that late afternoon to tell me that they only had four or five models left. Because some people ran into the gun shops to buy um, assault rifles. Because they know exactly what you know what everyone's thinking that Obama uh, wants to renew the assault weapons ban now how do I feel about that I, I want to own an assault rifle I enjoy firing an assault rifle you know I use it for being at the range I enjoy the sport of it I don't think I would ever take an assault rifle hunting I don't see the need for that you know there are weapons that you use for deer hunting and you know uh, duck hunting and things like that and I don't think an assault Assault rifle is the uh, correct weapon for that, but I enjoy it for sport. You know, others will say, "Well, I want to defend my family in case of uh, you know the this tyrannical government uh, goes against some people." And I mean, the likelihood of of something like that happening is probably zero. And then you know, people who are end of the world preppers, things things of that nature. I want to own one for the sport. Um, I I believe in whatever kind of stricter gun laws you want to make. Do I think we need a, a 30 round magazine? No, I don't. You know, in California, I think uh, 10 is the most. Um, and I have no problem with having 10 rounds in, in either my, my Glock uh, handgun. Um, I have no problem with having, you know, 10 rounds in, a, in an assault rifle. That's not, the, that's not the reason. I don't own one because I want to have 30 rounds in there. I own one because I enjoy going to the range. I enjoy firing my weapon. It's it's a sport. It's fun. You know, I, I don't I'm not purchasing an assault rifle to defend my home. Uh, I have a handgun for that. I have uh, two Mossberg 500 uh, shotguns for for that to defend my home. And uh, you know, I'll use them to defend my home. You know, when we when we talk about the Second Amendment where we have the right to bear arms, um, obviously it doesn't say you have the right to have assault weapons and 30-round magazines. But uh, 
you know, I, I'll defend uh, everyone's right to to uh, own a firearm, just like I'll defend everyone's right to freedom freedom of speech. You know, I mean, shouldn't we ban freedom of speech because people use it to to scream racial slurs about African Americans or Hispanics or Asians or people use it to scream you know disgusting slurs um, about homosexuals I mean that's all covered under the uh, free speech I'm not gonna say those words because you know exactly what words they are but that's all covered under freedom of speech should we ban freedom of speech for that you know um, I see a lot of other comments you know people saying well you know people get into car accidents Cars hit people. Cars kill people. Should we ban cars? Well, that that's kind of idiotic, you know, because uh, nobody's really going around with a car into a school and taking out, uh, you know, 20 people uh, or 20 kids. Um, but you know, this kid that what he did, you know, he stole the weapons from his mom. I don't know how how well she kept him locked up, but um, it's a tragedy and. I hear other people are calling for the thing that, that I think is, you know, uh, in states like Connecticut, you can get a conceal and carry permit, but you cannot uh, take your weapon into a school, into an elementary school. And people are saying, you know, just like I think, look, if the principal or somebody in the office had a conceal and carry, you know, it could have ended right there. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But um, I, I think that... Uh, you know, the chances that some teacher or something is going to lose it and use the firearm uh, improperly are less than someone going into a school with this ridiculous rampage. We've seen it happen time after time. Crazy people that are doing this. You know, we look at this this kid, Adam Lenz, I think his name is, uh, from Connecticut. And, I mean, we could, we could, we could look at different statistics at, at different things. I mean, the, you could look at the amount of people who own guns and use them properly and safely compared to these idiots that go out and do shooting rampages. I mean, we'll compare those numbers and, you know, it'll be ridiculous, uh, ridiculously high towards people who are safe with their firearms as opposed to these nut jobs. You know, these are people who have mental disorders. You know, if they didn't have a firearm... They would have done something else. You know, they, they could have used a knife. Should we ban knives? So, there's all different points of view. And, you know, if they ban assault weapons, they ban assault weapons. And that's all there is to it. But, uh, you know, I just think that uh, we have to defend our freedoms. Uh, freedom of speech. Uh, you know, the right to bear arms. Freedom of religion. I mean, religion has been the cause of countless wars, countless deaths. Again, you know, I say to those who think we should ban uh, guns, do we ban religion too? We, we find the problem in the Catholic Church of pedophiles. Um, so really, it's, it's, uh, it's just a point of view. Um, I'm not really taking anybody's side. Just telling you how I feel. And uh, I enjoy owning a firearm. I don't need to own an assault rifle. Um, I want to own an assault rifle. But again, I don't need to. And if they do ban the assault rifle before I get one, then I, I will follow that rule. And I will enjoy going to the range using my, um, fire, my handgun. And I also have a Winchester rifle. Um, I'll enjoy using that. I'll enjoy shooting my uh, my shotguns at the at the range or, or out in the desert uh, when I go to the desert. But um, I, I don't have any problem with any ban <clears throat> if they if they really feel that they need to. Um, but uh, I don't know when they say stricter gun laws. I just that's what bothers me. I just don't understand what do you mean by stricter um, because I think in California here we're extremely strict. So if you were to say, listen, we need to make nationwide uh, 15 or even 20 or even a 30-day uh, waiting period, that's, that's fine with me. I have no problem waiting. I don't, I, I don't go and buy a weapon because I desperately need to use it for some reason. <clears throat> you know, when I, when I purchased my first firearm 
and I had to wait the 15 days and I wanted to go shooting before that I went to the shooting range and I rented a firearm simple so that's my point of view I'd love to hear some feedback on it what you guys think um, and uh, what your point of view is and what you thought about what I said alright so thanks for listening